सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल स्टाडी होम 365 और उस रात थका बेल बटन तो क्लिक करें बो फॉर मोर नोटिफिकेशंस अबाउट आर वीडियो। हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल स्टाडी होम 365 और कोलो के नमस्कार तो नाइस हो और जी हो कोलो मर नोटुन व्यूवर्स आज ही फर्स्ट टाइम हमारे वीडियो साइज से ते वो लोग को वेलकम करें सो हमारे चैनल वाले और नमस्कार जनाएं सो सो गाइस आज ही हमी हमारे टॉपिक तो जो है सो ऐसे जन पॉलिटिकल फिलोसोफर ऊपर और मैं किचन स्केटमेन पॉइंट्स ते और स्केटमेन पॉइंट्स डिस्कस करें में आते सो इट्स वेरी द पॉइंट्स आर वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर प their name is Thomas Hobbes, 1588, 1679. Thomas Hobbes lived during the most crucial period of early modern England's history. Thomas Hobbes was the period of John Mohoisle. This period was very crucial and important in modern history. England or modern history was very crucial. So let's start the points. Thomas Hobbes was an English philosopher and founder of modern political philosophy. Thomas Hobbes was an English philosopher and he is a founder of modern political philosophy. He is the main exponent of social contract theory. Social contract theory is an important theory that is the main asylum. Social contract theory says that people live together in a society in accordance with an agreement that establish moral and political rules of behavior. Hobbes followed the scientific method. The social contract theory of Hobbes established absolute monarchy. Social contract of Hobbes created state and government. Hobbes gave systematic theory of the social contract first of all. Hobbesian contract justifies monarchical forms of the government. Hobbes's book, Leviathan, the Corpor, decides. Hobbes gave a picture of the state of nature which a free social. Some of Hobbes' things are Thomas Hobbes' work is an important statement. Uh, this is for it. Uh, first one, man possessed some natural right in the state of nature which he surrendered except the right of self-preservation. Second, Commonwealth was created by contract. Third, in the state of nature, life of man is solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. Fourth, the people were not free to revoke the contract. Fifth, sovereign has the power to declare war and peace. Sixth, it is the duty of sovereign to provide security to its subjects. 7. The terms of the contract are not applicable to the generation to come. 8. Nature has made man equal. 9. In the state of nature, there was no private property. 10. Nature has made equal in facilities of body and mind. Thank you so much guys for watching our video and uh, please keep supporting us for more videos subscribe our channel